You guys, happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating today. <laughs> boy, oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? Whew. I don't know how to deal with this stuff. It feels like Mount Everest. Today, it's my first time ever having jackfruit, and it's my first time ever having jackfruit curry rice bowls. Now, there's obviously a lot of fads right now of what is the most delicious and perfect substitute for meat. Analysts predict that alternatives to real meat will grow so much that by 2040, 60% of the world's meat likely won't even come from slaughtered animals. And then today we just have a fruit, essentially, real meaty sucker. Acting as the highlight of this meal, these are jackfruits, which are the largest tree-born fruit in the world weighing up to 40 pounds or more. Look at these freaking things, dude. What? It's a species of tree in the fig, mulberry, and breadfruit family. Mainly found in southern India, Sri Lanka, in the rainforests of Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. And today, downtown Chicago. <laughs> Imports. He's an importer exporter. Now my grocery store didn't have a big ass jackfruit to cut into. Maybe in the future we'll do that. Today I actually purchased a mixture of the jackfruit in curry spices. Also in a southern Indian tomato based sauce. We're basically making whack ass chipotle bowls. <laughs> Chipotle's gonna have jackfruit soon, aren't they? Oh God, I know they are. Come on, Sean, you know where the world's headed. Keep up. I went to Chipotle a couple weeks ago. No, but in all seriousness, I'm kind of excited for this. It looks like Alpo. It smells great, it just smells like the spices. So let's do this together. Let's do the fun part, let's cook the rice. All right, first things first. My favorite rice, jasmine rice. We're gonna go ahead and strain. We're gonna like, we're gonna wash our rice. So for years, I wasn't doing this. I love my rice cooker, I, it makes great rice, but I wasn't kind of like doing this first. This ups the stickiness and just how good rice can be. Do this. Plus who doesn't want to play the maracas before lunch, huh? I think my neighbor just knocked on the wall. <laughs> All right, throw that right in there. Spank it. Basically do like one to one proportions, put some water in there. Normally I would use a better than bouillon, like roasted chicken base, but I'm gonna try to keep this vegan. The first ingredient's chicken, so. <laughs> Guess we'll have to skip that. Okay, instead, we're gonna do turmeric. Putting some turmeric. Oh, you son of a bitch. A lot of spanking going on early. I don't want this video to get flagged. All right, turmeric. <laughs> Curry, Steph or Seth is fine, whichever one works. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up. I know everyone hated it. I got a big family. Curry, splash, G powder, salt, Aleppo crushed red chilies, standard black pep. Give it a nice stir. That's like a snooky fresh out of the spray tan booth. I love tanning, I love to be bronze, and you know, have that sexy tan look. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. We're, we're working with good things right now. Oh my God, where are my manners? I haven't even I haven't even introduced you yet. This is Riley. Riley, meet Hey Sean Ely YouTube people. Uh, hey Sean Ely YouTube people. Uh, this is Riley the rice cooker. Uh, we've been, how long have we known each other? Seven, seven years. We've known each other seven years. I've owned his ass for seven. Yes, I, oh, okay, who else bought you on Amazon? Was it, who, who's Brian? Do you guys ever worry about me? You're not alone, even if it may feel like it. Power, white rice setting. Riley, do your thing. All right, while we wait for the rice to cook, because it takes about 25 minutes, if you're watching the different vlogs, you saw I picked up DG Genuine's Jamaican soft drink, Cola Champagne. This is from Jamaica. Their mask got stoned out of his mind, but he seems to really like this cola. Kind of looks like he's holding a 40 ounce of Old English, but you know, I'm not one to judge. Kind of a Sean's first time drinking too. Um, also, who uses the like bottle opener function on these scissors? I think everybody in America, or maybe even the world owns, or at one time owned this pair of scissors. We never, I'm gonna do it. How do you, am I cutting off the bottle? What the f the hell? a real kind of southern sweet tea look to it, doesn't it? No, sweet tea is not electric orange. Okay, well, cheers. Ooh, that's delightful. Hmm, computing. 
Assessing? It would make so much more sense if I actually was a robot. Maybe this is all a simulation. It's incredible. It's like cream soda and like ginger ale had a baby. Triple filtered carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, FD and C yellow number six. That can't be good. Caramel color. Did you say caramel or caramel? And sodium benzoate preservative. I feel like I learned nothing about the flavor. So the flavor is just cancer sugar. I think my fate's been sealed five, six years ago when I started that other channel. <laughs> It's not something to laugh at. Have you guys had a champagne cola from Jamaica? It's incredible. I'm excited to drink this with this jackfruit. The two have absolutely no correlation. It's just two firsts. It's like two virgins coming together and becoming not virgins. How about we hit up the burger joint? Yum. All right, we got about five minutes left on the rice. Let's go ahead and saute, pan fry the jackfruit. It's a weird thing to say out loud. Okay. Enough of the spankings. You can microwave this. I just, you know, I'm, there's something less trashy about sauteing it in a pan. I don't know what it is. Jackfruit's stringy texture makes it a good vegan substitute for pulled pork or chicken. So it does kind of have that consistency. You can see like the meat of the fruit, it pulls off and it's very like stringy. Kind of like how a spaghetti squash, you can make it almost look like angel hair noodles, which I've done. I think the consistency for a bowl like this is gonna be perfect. YouTube's a wild place. Like I'm sitting three inches over my stove, drinking Jamaican champagne cola and grilling up some jackfruit. <laughs> weird life. Fun, but weird. But I'm glad you guys are here. Turn that heat down, Sean. You're gonna burn down your apartment, all 775 square feet of it. Ah, <laughs> yes. I always have the weirdest thoughts when I'm cooking. Like, do you guys ever wonder, like, what Lou Bega's doing right now? Why did that pop into my head? Drive a little faster. Everybody turn up. Aim a little higher. Anybody else think this jackfruit photo is really, really inappropriate? Too many beeps, obviously. Why is it still beeping? Why, more? Sure. All right, take this off the heat. Bring Riley over here. Oh my God, that looks so good. Curry, turmeric, garlic rice. Damn, look at that. These rice cookers are like $11. It's not even fair how much everyone needs one of these. Look at this rice. It's so sticky. It looks perfect. Steaming. All right, now it's time to combine them. Jackfruit with that curry. South Indian tomato base sauce. <laughs> Going right on top here. All right, my adventurous eaters. Curry jackfruit with turmeric curry garlic rice. Okay. All right, guys, we're in this together. Got a bite of it all right there. Cheers. <laughs> First impression, a little softer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> For a lot of food, you don't want that to be the very first thing you think of. Ooh, soft. <laughs> Great seasonings. The rice is fantastic. Mmm, I mean, not bad at all. I'd have no idea what this is, and I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, oh, is that just like obliterated chicken? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Way better nutrition facts, obviously, than like a really heavy pork, and it kind of does the job of being the protein in the meal. I want it a little bit like tenderer, like have some crisp to it and then be soft, I'm fine with it. Will I ever buy jackfruit again? Not with my money. <laughs> There's just better stuff out there. I mean, I love that the meat substitute world is getting like better and better and more stuff is being tried. I'm a fan of like food diversification. It's not doing enough for me to run off to the store and like get a bunch of jackfruit. I need hot sauce. 
You're gonna see this in a top five video. Boy, a lot of spoilers today. Lucky Dog Hot Sauce is in the top five in the country that makes hot sauces. This is their number one, this is the Chrome. If you make bowls like this and you don't put hot sauce, like what are you even doing? What the hell am I talking about? Do whatever you want. Everyone's different, Sean. Be more open to people hating things that you like. Chrome. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's spicy. Honestly, my only gripe is the texture. It just needs to be firmer. It can't be so soft and like, somebody without teeth, like if you just had like a 103 year old that just had like gums, they could eat this. So what do you think guys, have you had this? Would you have this? Would you ever eat jackfruit? Goodbye it as it is. And crack that bad boy open and do what you do. But you can get these pre-packaged ones that are flavored, or you can get it from your grocery store where it's pre-flavored like this. Maybe in the future I'd do it from scratch, you know? God, that hot sauce is so hot. Mmm, love that rice. Guys, I hope your Tuesday is going amazingly. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're watching all the Sean's first time eating and all the vlogs and stuff. Allie and I have actually really been into code names again, like the board game code names. As these winter months press on, you know, you start to really bust out the board game closet. And <laughs> dude, code names has been awesome. And Lionel likes to just cut casually sit on Allie's lap like a weirdo when we're at the kitchen island playing. But always down for a good board game recommendation too for the winter. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow for a brand new episode of the show. So far in January, you're seeing a trend. New upload every single day. I don't think it's sustainable by any means, but we're rolling, dude. We just continue with the momentum and the adrenaline until we burn out. <laughs> Cheers, I love each and every one of you. Go make this rice. Go make it. That's it.